Oh my god, what's going on? When we first did the first tour, we were playing three shows a day. Yeah, it was hard in our bodies. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> But like, wow, we the, the results of like doing that was yeah. like incredible. The, uh, someone like the, the results. Well, we met Gary Holt from Exodus. Well, <laughs> And we, before we met him that night, we were playing at the beach in San Diego. Now, whenever I need music gear, I always go to Sweetwater.com. It bits mics, headphones, or studio and recording gear. Sweetwater has you covered. Next time you need any music gear, support the podcast by using the link in the description and comment section below. Got the kid in the house, man. We all got our drinks. Yeah. We got our Bud Light Seltzers. Guys. Cheers. We Cheers. got hemorrhage in the house. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. Yeah. And I got, I got a little thing, a little tasty treats. <laughs> What's that? This is the blood. Uh, totally oh, around. shit, dude. Yeah. Yeah. If you want it now. Uh, oh, let's uh, let's light it up. It's fine. Oh, yeah. If I bring the podcast, I, I do apologize. If I, if I get too blasted, whatever. It's all good. <laughs> uh, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> well, well, dudes, you guys, you guys came down from uh, San S- Francisco. Yeah, SF, yeah. Wow. Yeah, oh. well, we're here for, like, we're here often, though. You are. Yeah. yeah, we're here like I think this is our fifth or sixth time being here this year, just this year. Just this yeah, we're year. just here three weeks yeah. ago. Yeah, we're just here three weeks ago. Yeah. Damn, it's like hey, you made a post and you tagged uh, Anaheim. Oh, they're yeah. just here. Holy shit. Yeah, yeah, we're just here. Yeah, we we have a home base there with a uh, shout to our, to our homie Freddie and Phil. Uh, we always stay at his spot at yeah. OC Sound Studios. So. Wow. Yeah. What the fuck are you guys doing? That's dope. Just drive down and play some shows. Yeah. Just go, go back home. That's fucking badass. Can we do a quick uh, intro? Yeah, yeah. Please. Sure, can I light this up? Yeah, of course. Take it away, Toby. I am Toby, the guitarist from Hemorrhage. Fuck yeah, that was official. <laughs> right, his voice. Hey, Toby, John, the man. The, guy, the vocalist and guitarist. Uh, Ron, drums. Well, it's an honor to, to have you guys. Dude, no, it's an honor to for you to be oh, <laughs> like just be across the table from me dude, dude I'm, like, i'm so pumped to see you guys man because we were uh wait silence is brought to you by uh, <coughs> the imperial rolls by the way there you go <laughs> oh wow this, this, so that's what's in, in okay. these guys yeah that's um, nice we, that's we, nice yeah we got um we got we got some kind of like a weed endorsement with heavy metal buds based out of san francisco how'd you guys get that that's fucking sick. uh he's just a fan of ours and then like he, he he just came to our show and he was like dude i really like what you guys do like you know he was like he was a niner fan you know like and he was comparing us to like oh he he, he wished he saw uh what's his name from the niners back in the day yeah oh, tony montana yeah. tony montana no, no, the no, dude no, from no, scarface bro. His scarface <laughs> no, 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 what's his name i forgot i'm blanking on his name joe montana no, joe montana yeah yeah, so yeah he said like I wish I could witness that, and now I have a chance to witness something that could potentially be great. And <laughs> now we're here. <laughs> this, this how yeah, see what happens when you do cool shit. You yeah, just, uh, when you do, I mean, I mean, you guys are like the top of like DIY. Like this is the way it's supposed to be Thank done. You. No, you know, no. we that. we were just uh, we were in Sacramento. Yep. And uh, we're at the Ace of Spades. Shout yeah. out to the Ace of Spades. And shout out to Carnifex too. They're yeah. always the worst. <laughs> Carnifex, uh, L- Lorna Shore. It was a great lineup. Yeah, Lorna Shore was sick, dude. They were fucking yeah. amazing. And then we're we're done, and I'm walking outside, and I'm like, "What the <laughs> fuck is going on?" <laughs> the show is over, yeah. and I hear a band playing outside, and I go out, and there's another mosh pit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and there's people out in the street listening to you guys, and you guys were playing heavy shit. I'm like, "Who is who is this?" <laughs> you know, it was us. To, make, <laughs> to make a human go who is this what is this it's very hard to do mm-hmm. and you guys said that to me so I was I was sat there and watched I'm like damn that's fucking sick hell yeah thank you thank you man thank yeah. you. and then uh, I mean the following that you are uh, building is 
cool because I mean I got hit up by other people f- to have you guys on here. Yeah. So awesome, man! Thank you for everybody who did that yeah, <laughs> for us. <laughs> so, yeah, have on hemorrhage, have on hemorrhage. I'm like, okay. <laughs> you know, it's it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy what an Instagram DM can do. Yeah. yeah. And that's been tripping me out. Yeah. For, like for, for like a while now. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we got like uh, our ESP endorsement through an Instagram message. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah, Gary yeah. Holt like posted one thing, and then they happened to see it, and then the next day they just yeah. they emailed you, right? Yeah, and uh, it's uh the next day uh, Tony the AR for for ESP, Tony, yeah. yeah, and he hit me up. I honestly thought like I didn't know who he was or anything like that, and we were at the time we were getting a lot of messages, like it, we were getting like hundreds of messages a day, and the, that one stuck out. And I thought huh, maybe. Maybe it's real. Uh, maybe it's real. Maybe it's not real. You know, you never know. But, and I responded, and then like, well, it, and I was like, oh shit, it is real. Holy shit, Tony Rouser, huh? Yeah. Yeah, great guy. Yeah, he's a super nice <laughs> super guy. Super cool. Yeah. yeah, he's so nice. What a trip! Like, how was that for for you guys? Like, I mean, it's I mean, your journey is crazy. Like, you're you wanted to play shows, and you found your own way to play shows, yeah. and you probably yeah. did that for a while. Now, yeah. Then you, you guys get like this, like this blow up, and now you have endorsements and people yeah. are. Are sending you messages like yeah. how like how did this whole thing start? Uh, well, we start, started all the way back. I think it's t- t- 2016. Like uh, I saw this movie called Sound of Noise. Yes. You ever seen the movie? No. Yeah, should check it out. It's a it's a Swedish film, and then um, this opening scene in that movie is like a, a drummer playing in the van and being chased by the cops. And really? and at the time we had an ambulance, and and I was like. Well, like that game changer, we should do that, you know. And we, we were drunk at, outside of our fire work, and, of course. Uh, <laughs> and I was like, we should pull out and play. And then, like, uh, we we also we got frustrated that like um, like all the local promoters weren't booking us. You know, they were just booking their their friends and stuff like that. Yeah. And they're like, I don't, I don't really want to kiss ass or anything like that. So we let's find a way to like find a way to like stand out so th- that's all we did and we did the f- the warp warp tour in 2016 mm-hmm. we did we pulled out in the front 9 a.m in the morning <laughs> during the line wow yeah and then like that was and then we were like okay now now we kind of have something and then we we were trying to like do it more often but the the guys that i we had at the time couldn't do it like there it was always like scheduled conflict you know yes and then uh after the pandemic uh, like during the I said 2021, yeah. And me and Toby, we were just like, we got we're starting to get frustrated with our jobs yes. because we work for the same company and uh, they're changing ownership. And it was like, I don't know how to do that. Yeah, I don't want to be a boss for somebody else because our boss taught us a lot. And he, when he passed, we we felt like we couldn't like feel it. no one else could be like a boss for us. So we want to be our own boss. <laughs> and then like we quit our jobs. And then like uh, a friend of mine like randomly like hit me up it's like hey i'm selling this bus and they were like i'll buy it give me two weeks i'll buy it <laughs> and then we and then the, the three of us like came together and then like we pulled out pulled that money out he even like got his investment on uh on uh bitcoin oh yeah <laughs> he pulled it out just to buy that bus dude. oh shit so we risked everything for that bus and we built it and then we started playing shows and we figured out how to like do it right and then now we're here that's a trip like how it's all it's Obviously, we're, we're going to show the uh, the video first. Like it's it the acoustics in there sound great, and like you yeah. just whatever you guys did, you, it built it right. Yeah, we, we we all like have experience with building stuff, you know, a lot of DIY projects and stuff. It's crazy how you also what happens when you put it all. Yeah, you, you got like you know how are we going to come up with this money or how are we going to do this, and you guys just naturally like let's just I'm going to take out my Bitcoin. Yeah. Yeah. Was, wow. Yeah, I scraped out a lot of them. Even the shows are like that too. Yeah. Like it's like how are we going to pull this off? Like you know, like having regular shows, you know what time you're supposed to be there, you know what time yeah. load is, you know what time sound check is. For us it's it's always a, a a risk. It's always like a gamble. It's always like, you know, because it's on the streets. You yeah. know, and sometimes uh, we pull yeah. up on the other side of the venue. Yeah, we don't know. And no one exactly that was where there. And then is. we're like, "Where's everybody?" And then like, everybody's like, "They're over there." <laughs> we, we've even like uh, missed our mark completely yeah. before. Like we yeah. like <laughs> our intended destination was a uh, like a block away, and we played yeah. like in front of just clubs that we saw a lot of people for. Yeah, you know, and everybody yeah. had a good time anyway. You yeah, know? so good. Yeah, yes. and then sometimes we show up, and then we we were like late because some of the older bands, like the really really old bands, like. Um, 
Is it Opeth and stuff like that? They're mm-hmm. not super old, but you know, whatever. <laughs> yes, yeah. Uh, We're they, they, they play early. <laughs> they they end, the shows end oh, early. Oh wow, yeah, yeah, yeah. True. So you can see they play true. by themselves too. Uh, so like, well, there's one show, the oh, the Opeth show. We like show we showed up. It was like, where's everybody? It's like the show is over. Yeah, you missed it. <laughs> yeah, we missed it's it. Like a, it was over an hour ago. It's Opeth. They put yeah. it eight p.m. <laughs> Man, it's yeah. crazy. Yeah. So, so you, John, you first brought the idea to the yeah. table at, uh-huh. at, after you saw this yeah. movie. Yeah. Um, what what did you guys think as, about like uh, how, how was it for you like hearing like a crazy idea like that? It's crazy. Um, well, I had joined the band just a year ago uh, in July. So these guys have been doing it for, I don't know, 10 plus years before that, you know. Um, and, and I've seen them do it in the ambulance before. So I had already had an idea of what he was talking about. But, you know, just to put it all together. And when it started, it you know, once you do something more and more and more, whatever it is, and in this case, it's playing shows in a bus, you, know, you get better at it, you know. And like you said earlier, you know, we just after time got the sound going well. So at first it was like, you know, let's I'm down, you know, I'm down to play anywhere, anytime. And, uh, you know, the more we did it, the better we got at it, the more enjoyable it was for, for myself and everybody else involved, you know, like especially like the people there. They yeah. seem to really yeah. be receiving it well. Yeah, that's a – you – how was it for you? Oh wow, it's um, <laughs> it's a whole trip, man. Like just how everything just started happening throughout this whole year. Because like a year before we um, we we've done like some crazy what was it like some crazy stuff just like playing through a ambulance and we had like a, a what was it like just other swap meets or other events that we throw yeah, in all we, the parties that the, we threw to the punk metal flea market. We were yeah. the first one in California to do it in Bay Area to be exact. Wow. Yeah, and the first one, the first one was like two thousand people showed up, and Are you like we did it for like five years after, and then the pandemic happened, and the band got busy, so we haven't been yeah. doing able to do it. But eventually, we can do it like nationwide or something like that. We no, never we, stopped though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we probably gonna do nationwide soon. That'll, on that, that'd be sick. Yeah. What if anyone, anyone's gonna do it's you guys? Yeah, so I it's guess sick. so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This, these two guys. <laughs> it's hard to find people that that will love it as much as you. Yeah, it's the hardest part sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, but the three of us, I feel like the three of us, like, we knew what we wanted in life. We wanted this. Mm-hmm. And yeah. we got to go get it no matter what. How'd you guys meet? Uh, we met in high school. Okay. Uh, back in the day, we, we actually were in an art competition together. Oh, yeah. And we, we, oh, that's we, sick. We, uh, <laughs> we tied at the top. Yeah, John went for, like, the, uh, the realism, and I went for, like, uh, abstract. Yeah. And, all that. and then we, we tied, and then, like, that's why a lot of our artwork is, like, you kind of see the both sides of the things because we both, like, work on it. Oh, shit. Yeah, mm-hmm. so it's really cool. Uh, so with that, we become friends since then, and, like, we, every time, everything we do something, we do together. We, we have the same jobs. We have the same schedules and yeah. stuff like that. Wow, through a high school To art. now, yeah. Yeah, that's Yeah, and we always awesome. want to be artists, you know? I always want to make something. You yeah. are artists. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. Uh, go to shows. We go to shows all the time when we were younger, before we started playing shows. <laughs> I met these guys because uh, I uh, had a music rehearsal studio, and they had one on the other side of the hallway, so we had shared a wall in between. So, like, I've known them for years, and, like, I've seen what they've been doing and vice versa. Yeah. And then uh, uh, when their drummer um, I had to leave for whatever reason, uh, they asked me to fill in, and I just, you know, learned a couple songs, and then... Uh, just over time, just quickly became the full-time drummer. Yeah. Yup. Yup. Pretty much the style goes. <laughs> Hell yeah. 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 It's, you guys, it's weird how like you people that you want to play music with, they, they're kind of like, like a magnet to you. Yeah. You know, like you kind of yeah. draw people that you know, like have the same like-minded you people. And, yeah. Like-minded. Yeah. like-minded things, right? And we were, yeah. we were watching his band, uh, we were watching him as a musician uh, the, the entire time. We were like, Man, like he's a really good drummer. If we ever need a drummer, we'll hit him up. And you know I'll do it. <laughs> yeah. And then, like, yeah. yeah. And, yeah. So it was just a, a mutual, like I guess, mutual uh, beneficial for both of us because we wanted to take this shit to the next level. I think it's easy that, that there's just three of us yeah. too, you know, yeah. just even one person less than like four piece, blah blah yeah. blah. But it's easy to be like, you know, make decisions. Like yeah. really tightened our, our sound too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And the chemistry in the bus is we're there for like. 22 hours a day kind of thing, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're just a, in such a, even more so than us, you're like a, in such a confined spot, e- even when you play. Yeah. You know, hey, let's get ready for the show. Okay, we're going to stay in here. Let's play the show. It's yeah. okay, surprisingly sh- 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 spacious over. in there, though. Like yeah. the whole heist. <laughs> yeah. I mean, wow. we, we, we walk around while we're driving. I'm like, it's huge in here, dude. Yeah. yeah. It's bigger than my apartment in San Francisco. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and you guys are... Uh, a power three piece, but you don't have a bass player. That's very like unique. 
Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I guess Ballsy, so. right? Yeah. yeah. People told us, like, you should get a bass player, you should get a bass player, but, like, well, is he going to match or hustle? Yeah. Is well, he going to... Toby just plays the middle pick. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> is he going <laughs> to Is he gonna put in the same work as we do? Like, I got we a haven't eight, met 808 guy, so. sample pad well, that helps, sure. too. Fill yeah. it in. It's like, why are we going to invite the laziest person in the band, yeah. in our band? I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, right. Let me down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, uh, I mean, uh, we're open to, like, you know, for that to happen. It's just, like, he just need to match what we got going on. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah he or she. You got to be, uh, yeah. uh, you gotta be <laughs> pretty cool. Yeah. 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 You're, like, following, like, your own vibe. Like, well, it's, if, if, if they show up. Yeah. It's, it's saying, yeah. like who's who's gonna match our vibe and who's yeah. gonna match our our obsession. Yeah. You know. Yeah. It's cool. You guys are obsessed, huh? Yeah, we're man. We obsessed, fucking play man. almost every night, man. Like, like once once we took control of like playing live music, that was game over, or game, game just started. On. Game, game on. on. Hey, game on. You know. Like, game over. Game on. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, we don't have to answer to nobody. We just kind of just do our thing and like just win the people, and that's all that really matters. You know. Yeah, I mean the, the fans have have to say, you know. Yeah, it's cool. You guys, oh, you guys, man, you roll up to a show and just play a, a bunch of people that want want to see you. That's fucking dope. Yeah, they love it. People, yeah. that's all they want. Yeah, and that's yeah. all that's all any musician I think wants. I think feel, I feel that we're the lucky ones because, like, a, any artist just wants to play to a crowd that wants to see it, right? Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. the energy of the crowd is got to be like when you say how was the show, you ask anybody how was your shows, right? Yeah, it's all about how the crowd was and how the crowd reacted. It's like more than half of it easily. Yeah, so it feels good. Yeah. It feels real good. And we get to talk to people. That's, that's, I think that's yeah. the main thing. Yeah, it, we're reachable, me. right? Yeah. Th- we're like right there. You it's, know? it's happening right now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you are correct. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, like we we like stay there till like the last person buys merch, and you know, and then, then we go and. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, there'll be cops yeah. there telling everybody to leave, and we're still yeah. still talking to people. Yeah. That is actually one of like the coolest things about it. Like, you'll, like if you happen to be lucky to to talk to like a random person or a random fan or anyone, you just have a conversation you would have normally had. It's so yeah. cool yeah. Every, every time. Yeah, a, a, a handshake and yeah. like it's really nice for me to see other people interacting too. You know, because I get to see oh, it firsthand. Sure, sure. Like you yeah. know, because they're just like, what's going on here? You yeah. know, two random people coming from yeah. wherever, and, they become and they're like, what is this? You know, who are these guys? And yeah, they do. They, it's, they exchange it's, numbers. It's beautiful and friends. Yeah, I've seen it right in front of my yeah. face. Well, hopefully, we we get to marry some people eventually. <laughs> well, matchmakers. Yeah, matchmakers. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Totally we're single. John, where are you originally from? I'm from the Philippines. You're from the Philippines, yeah. huh? Yeah, I'm an immigrant. Wow, yeah, that's fucking dope. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How? I, what is it like over there? I have no idea. Uh, over there, well, I, I moved here when uh, in the mid two thousands. So like, oh, I can only say from the time that I was there, it was really cool, man. Like, uh, like over here, I feel like a lot of people pick and choose what kind of music they like, mm-hmm. and over there, they just eat them all up. And they just they just like all American culture and all that. So like uh, when I was growing up there. I was into Slipknot, and then I'm into like some 41, and there's and, and it was okay, and it was and we were like rocking out to all of them. We we, we love Blink 182, even Backstreet Boys was like <laughs> like a very popular thing over there. Wow! Like the weird thing is when I moved here, when I started getting into music here, people were telling me that's not cool. This is not cool. You know, that was the, that was that's the difference. That was a big difference. Yeah. There's like a like a uh, so. You- experience here like like that like the music gatekeeping and like yeah you, you can listen to this but you can't listen to this yeah and so weird huh yeah yeah it's so weird and then uh that's that's why like i always tell people like i i, I have a third world perspective you know <laughs> like i'm more grateful of on things and like rather than not appreciate on other things yeah now, yeah. only only you could say that because like you like you lived it really yeah i lived it yeah yeah i walked m- mountains to go to school Early in the morning, 4 a.m. in the morning, we go to school. 4 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> and our school starts at 7. So just imagine how far that travel is. There are no break in between yeah, those right. travels. Driving to L.A. ain't so yeah. bad, right? Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, wow. it, it also, like, uh, it, it helped me, like, become, um, I got part of the community. Like, over there, it's, like, a little bit, you know, like, kind of, like, tribe mentality. Like, you know, we help each other. No, that's why every, everyone in my circle, I always try to help them, send them work, or like you know, recommend them to other people and stuff like that. Yeah. Wow. So yeah, you, I mean, you brought that your way of life here. Yeah. You know. I, I mean, I grew up there, you know, to, to my uh, to my teens, you know. So like, I lived a double high school life because over there, there's, there's no there's no middle school. So when I moved here, 
they like you go back to freshman. You had to go high school again. <laughs> yeah, I had to go high school again. That yeah. sucks. Yeah. I'm sorry. It, <laughs> in a way, I wouldn't meet this guy. That's yeah. true. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm grateful for all the all the bad things that happened because a lot of, a lot of good things happened. To Always, that. Yeah. But I didn't, I didn't consider that a bad thing though, because mm. I got to live four years here again in high school. You know, like that's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, you have such a a wide like perspective. You know, I think things that like we try to, you know, sit here and like build. Like literally, kind of, like, how, how do I build my perspective? Like when you like, go out yeah. talking to people, you just yeah. naturally have that. This there. Born. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, because you're born with nothing, you know. Uh, you know, fucking in the mountains and shit. Man. And all you gotta do is just be happy. Like I went, I went to Africa too. I built a school there. You I serious? To, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then like that gave me another perspective because everybody was, everybody there was happy, man. There's that. So that's what going to Africa that made me want to be a musician. Hmm. Because uh, when I was building a school there, every night there's a drum circles. They're just celebrating life or whatever, you know, all the hardships that they go through every day. And then, like, it's a, and they let me play one of the drums and, like, it hit me. It was like, wow, I, 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 now I know why. How people, old were you when you did that? Uh, I was uh, I was 16, maybe, 16, something like that. It was like, uh, yeah, I was a junior, so that was 16. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, I did that. And then, like, from there, I, I experienced that. I was like, wow, I want to be a musician. <laughs> I want to, I, I, I liked how, it brought people together and at the time i was getting into like more deeper into like the metal and stuff like that you know starting starting to discover like the the deep cuts of metallica and stuff <laughs> and then it was just like kind of like a i guess it was a perfect combination of things that made me want to be able to made me want to do this yeah yeah it's, it's a trip huh? i mean you're talking 16 years later yeah you know we're, we're we're hanging out. Yeah, the trip, huh? Yeah, it's a trip. to like, dude, I was I'll just see you on on stage all the time. <laughs> oh my goodness! Yeah. I, I worked one of your concerts in San Francisco before. Which uh, what was the venue? I, I think either Warfield or Regency. Okay, you, we played the Regency more more often. Yeah, it was the Regency. Yeah, yeah, but I was a bartender. I was in the back, dude. Slinging drinks. Dang, thank you. <laughs> that, that, that makes for a better show, dude. I appreciate that, John. I was getting people drunk. <laughs> oh, shit. That's why the show is badass. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. San Francisco. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like, I, I specifically picked all the metal shows because I was learning from the bands. I was learning. I was watching Behemoth, like, do their thing and <laughs> watching you guys do your thing and at the gates. And then, like, oh. and I got to see them for free. And I was just, like, on the, on the, on the back of the bar and then just, like, damn, I want to be there, you know? Like, how do we get there? <laughs> you gotta figure this out, you know. Yeah, you you asked the best question. Like, uh, <laughs> yeah, John, we're, we're very similar in that. Like, you know, you, like you, like you see it, and it's like, I want to do that. How? Yeah. yeah. How? And you just, you know, there's something uh, uh, is a maybe uh, untangible. Where like, you know, I'm just gonna do it. Yeah. Just and do you, it. You, you, you guys just do it. Yeah. Yeah. And then and then and then we do it again. Yeah. And again yeah. and again. Do it again. What was it? Yeah. You, you, he always <laughs> says something that his dad told him, like. Uh, mm. Oh. If I was you, like the best, like, the best way to get a job is just start doing it. <laughs> yeah, you know, before you know it, you, yeah. you're, you're yeah. already doing yeah. it. It's true. Yeah, and uh, what you're also doing is a, a trip to me is uh, you're like you have the ability to play more than one show in a day. Yeah. So you'll let's say today, like uh, you would normally probably play a show around like, like this time. Yeah. Then you'll shoot over hours to play 11 p.m. somewhere like outside yeah. outside of like an OPA yeah. show or something. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. And then uh, that way we were like kind of figure out like to efficiently tour. Before we, when we first did the first tour, we were playing three shows a day. For well, eight was, days. Yeah, for eight days. It's like, yeah, it was hard in our bodies. <laughs> Dude. It's like a month long tour. Yeah, yeah. it week. felt like a month, but it was a week. But like, wow, we had the, the results of like doing that was yeah. like incredible though. Pretty yeah, good. yeah what, like, what were the, uh, some of like the, the results. Well, we met Gary Holt from Exodus. Well, that's, yeah, that's <laughs> and we, before we met him that night, we were playing at the beach in San Diego. And then we met a promoter that was a fan of ours. He like throw like he has a wrestling ring and all that Dirty stuff. Dirty Ron. Dirty Ron. Shout yeah. out Dirty Ron. <laughs> yeah. And then uh yeah, from there I got we got a guitar endorsement, you know. And like just people fucking fucking with us, people giving fucking. us food and you know, getting us a lot of beer. 
<laughs> for sure. Yeah. People will bring cases like on the bus. Oh, like, yeah. Yeah. Someone, oh, yeah. just drop it off. Yeah. <laughs> someone rolled us a hundred joints. Yeah, a someone. Hundred? Yeah, a hundred joints. And, and put them in a big Ziploc bag, bro. Like in a fucking like you've never seen. How do you yeah. smoke all that shit? We did. <laughs> we, we, yeah, we, <laughs> at one point we were giving it away. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh my! You guys want merch and we got free joints. Yeah. yeah. We also yeah. got joints for sale. Yeah. Oh, that's fucking yeah. sick. One for twenty, two for forty. <laughs> that's a deal. Yeah, you like <laughs> you like created your own opportunity. Like, I mean, yeah, you like you met, uh, you know, saw the video of, of Gary of yeah. Paul and buying a shirt. It's fucking so sick, yeah. you know. Yeah, Do it you was guys trippy, man. Yeah, we talked to him once in a while. You know, sick. Uh, he's busy. Of course. Yeah, obviously. like everybody else, you know. Yeah, he's on yeah. top of his game. Yeah, he's on t- still on top of his game. It's crazy. Cool. Yeah, it's always a trip, like uh, talking to anyone that like you listen to their music. Yeah, idolize for You're a while, like, you know. Like whoa. With, with age, you know, yeah. uh, with a lot of failures, I'm learning to just kind of sit back, chill, yeah, calm down, calm down my anxiety, yeah, you know, yeah. Uh, it's tribute for Gary, uh, like Gary. I would see him like at local shows, uh, sometimes. Yeah, he's uh, out there. Yeah, and I'd just be in the back, you know, like oh, that's Gary. <laughs> and then uh, we we saw them, but for free at Tidal Wave in 2009. That that was like. It's just going full circle on like how we met him and like we're talking to him now. It's just like it was it's, cool seeing him at NAMM. It's too, crazy. Yeah. At the ESP booth. Yeah. And we're the same guitar company. That was kind of cool. That was like yeah. my first metal concert, right? Yeah. Tidal yeah. Wave 2009. Yeah. yeah. Really? That shit yeah. was uh, it was crazy, man. Yeah. I was like not a metalhead at all or anything and back in 2009. I was like into video games and Weezer and stuff like that. But Still is. <laughs> I, I am still into Weezer and shit like that. Yeah. But uh, the, the good like, shit, yeah. yeah. But like, well, I, I just saw just like hella dudes just freaking shoving and shit like by the freaking <laughs> concrete stage. I was like, <laughs> goodness, yeah. goddamn! It, yeah. it looked it looked pretty dangerous, man. But it was just like it's all it looks pretty freaking yeah. uh, fun too. At the and, same and time, around that time they had like the other singer. Uh, well, I forgot his name. The bald dude, the, right? The bald dude, the big guy. Uh, yeah, he was scary, man. Exhibition B or something. Yeah, like that, it that was era. just like oh, sh- and then he like took Gary Holt's guitar and they did the solo. I was like, what? You can solo too? <laughs> dude, so yeah. sick. Yeah, talented dudes, man. Yeah, legends. Yeah, uh, I just want to say that your latest song, "The End," is pretty sick. Thank, thank you. you. Uh, thank thank you. I mean, fucking fuck me. Thank you guys for playing it outside. Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> for yeah. sure. That was that was heavy. Yeah. Thank you. Thank it was you. a combination of like, influences. It's very early in the, yeah. in the a day. Little, a little yeah. bit of like... That was like the first song we finished together. Yeah, as a, yeah. Yeah. As a band. As this lineup. As this lineup, yeah. <laughs> yeah, how, how do you feel having Ron? It's good, oh, man. Yeah. It's, it's like, the vibe is good. As he's right here. Yeah. 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 <laughs> we get stuff done. Yeah, we get we stuff get done. We get shit done. He got, he got <laughs> wisdom to put on the table, too. So, like, mm-hmm. he gives another perspective. Yeah. Yeah. It's really cool. Thank you. Yeah. How do you feel about that? That that is some love right there. Straight yeah. up, I mean, these are my That's boys, cool. dude. Cool. Love you, Ron. I mean, yeah. like when we go out there, we're like, yo, it's just the three of us ready to take on three hundred, man. It's like that movie, dude. <laughs> For real, yeah. how many people have we reached this year? The three uh, of us. At one point, it's like uh, our Instagram over I'll, a million. Uh, uh, yeah, over a million. Just the three of us. Is like, you know how like those stats? At one point, it was like it went to a million. I was like, what? Oh, a million accounts. Yeah, like we were up. But they like, didn't follow like us though. That would be cool if they all followed us. Yeah. <laughs> they just saw a profile. Anyone listening, watching, follow on Instagram, <laughs> yeah. YouTube, at Hemorrhage SF, yeah. of course. Yeah. Quick, quick, yeah. quick, quick, quick little shout out there. We'll, yeah, yeah. We will definitely do it more. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, of course, thank, thank you for the shirt as well. Hell Absolutely. yeah, thank you, man. Boom. We're just printing that so, on the phone. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> it looks good. <laughs> oh my goodness! So you literally printed these shirts a yeah. couple, couple days ago. Yeah. Two days ago, I yeah. think. Yeah. Yeah, dude, that's that's the future right there, man. Yeah, it's fucking badass. It, it's cool to see it, like looking at it, just like wow, <laughs> we did that. <laughs> so it's just from uh, the business uh, Savage People. Yeah, cool. Savage People was the business. Like the that was like our excuse to like. That's the Savage People shirt. Right? Yeah, the mm-hmm. Savage People shirt right here. Great. <laughs> uh, it was like a it was kind of like a a business venture that we did to like cover the costs of being in the band, mm-hmm. and then, like now it's like kind of growing more than the, just that. But yes. yeah, in, initially, like, that's how we bought our first ambulance. It's like we were scrimping for like two weeks straight, saving money for that shit. Uh, two weeks? Yeah. Yeah, but we were doing a lot of orders. Yeah, at the time, we were like young uh, and then like didn't know anything about the business yet. So we were just like doing 20 shirts for like 100 bucks, you know, printing for little small bands and stuff. And then we did like 20 of them or something like that. And we bought the, and then we went on tour right after. Oh, yeah, we did make some funds. Yeah, <laughs> that's how we did them. <laughs> Just casually yeah. bought a, a a van. Yeah. The and, before the bus. Yeah. Playing off yeah. like batteries and stuff. Yeah. Did you guys have a generator at one point? Yeah, we had a generator at one yeah. point. Yeah. 
it's Honda like generator. A, it's like prehistoric now that yeah. what we got. Yeah. That's nuts. Yeah. Holy mm-hmm. shit. You just, you just really tried to make it happen. You they, know? they would like, play down in like coves on the beach. Yeah, the caves. They would mm-hmm. build stages to put build put the drums on it and then carry the stage yeah, down. Was, that was yeah. terrible. Yeah. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that oh, idea. That's, yeah. that's it's terrible. terrible. <laughs> <laughs> because yeah. like what we did, we had like a, you know, screen printing. You know, when you when you print shirts with the the frame. Sure. So we took the mesh know. out. So we use and then we put wood on top of it, and then, so that serves as like a platform for the drums. It's to make it light because it's made out of aluminum. Yeah. The what we didn't think about is like the drum set is heavy. <laughs> <laughs> All the metal hardware. So we were we were like, oh, this is a good idea. You know, it folds up, blah blah blah. You know, yeah, yeah. and then and then by the time the show time, we were like, okay, we gotta carry this thing. This is the most efficient way to like set up a drum set in the cave on the hill. Carry. It's like carry it up. It's just holy shit it was fucking heavy. Oof. We had like four people carrying it. Oh yeah. <laughs> you had to carry it way down. Yeah. And we yeah, had like the, the 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 drum rack. Dude. Anyway. On it. Yeah. The, the, the bus is way yeah. more efficient. The, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, bus, yeah. Yeah, totally. Yeah. What what else do do you do? I see a uh, screen printing, graphic design. Yeah, do graphic design. Yeah. Did video. stuff for local yeah, video we do a little bit of videography and uh, photography and stuff. I think it's very important for yeah. uh if you're trying to follow anything they kind of know a little bit about everything yeah you know like definitely graphic design i feel like that's a really big deal uh because like that's what separates you from from a good band to the really bad local band I to have like, like a whole vision yeah you know? to just have that like if you see a flyer you can tell it's a local show and then like there's gonna be 20 people there it's what makes you like <laughs> yeah, your eye. like you said earlier you like you know to, yeah. ha- to get somebody's attention like yeah. that is super yeah. important yeah it, it just it just looks professional and symmetrical you know like all that shit. Mm-hmm. You guys just knew that. Y- yeah, I mean, crazy. me and him, like, uh, we 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 make art all the time. We learn Photoshop together and stuff like that, and we look at advertisements at billboards. We we have to do that. Yeah, yeah. and then we just so talk true. about like it's like look at that font right there, look at that color scheme, and look at that symmetry. We were just like casually hanging out and stuff, and then suddenly we just like started making fun of things, and yeah. it all got to like started making fun of graphic design, and then yeah. we started studying it. Yeah. Oh. oh yeah, sure. Oh, yeah, and, oh, I'm sorry. Man. And it was like that for like just anything too with with making videos and stuff. Like you know, we we watch movies, we watch the same movies and stuff like that. Yeah. And we make we have the same like type of jokes and we make fun <laughs> of. We we pretty much don't do the things that we make fun of. Yeah. Unless it's like a funny thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tropic Thunder. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Yeah. You, yeah, you you probably learned there's like a purpose with like the colors and like all yeah. that stuff. It's like yeah. there's like it like science. Want to speak to like your subconscious, such like such as flyers or yeah. something. You want to have a certain vibe to it sometimes. Yeah, yeah, and, that, yeah. and that's hard to do. So the and, fact and you already know that is pretty sick. And we we compare ourselves to like the bands that we like, you know, like mm-hmm. and we we sit we sit there and watch their music videos when we're like smoking and like you know like in mm-hmm. our in our headquarters. Everybody does that. Yeah, and then we're just like that, that's, that's cool. Let's let's fucking make, take mental notes of that and like. We would go home and we would watch something that we we think it's interesting and you, we share you it. You pull inspiration from like so many genres yeah. too. Yeah, that that was the thing. With remember, I was telling you about like how growing up we were. I was open to like pop punk, heavy metal, blah blah. blah you know, mm-hmm. I think that's what o- that gave me an advantage. Eventually, to be open about like different inspirations. Different inspirations. Yeah, because yeah. I mean, it doesn't have to be just one genre, just yeah. one way of doing something. When, yeah. you, you, when you have a whole, you can yeah. literally just step back and have this whole yeah. plate of inspiration for music and yeah. videos. Yeah. and Yeah. Like well, our newest song, like one of our newest songs has like a total, I, like in my opinion, more like a hip-hop vibe and like almost kind of like that Rage Against the Machine kind of groove to it, you know, like which wasn't traditional to our like thrash sound yeah. generally. And then we got some Run the Jewels vibes on right, exactly. that one. Yeah. Turn, down, <clears throat> turn down for what vibes? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. I'm good. Whatever that is, it's very strong. It's good. This is the Imperial Roll, Ben. Heavy Metal Bud, shout out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, Sorry, nice. if I, I'm going to kill it. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Yeah. no, no. Smoke, I mean, just smoke it the whole time. Don't don't let me ruin the podcast. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Smoke, I, mean, smoke I, I, I smoke all the time, so it's like, okay. yeah. no big deal for me. That's that's yeah. some powerful shit. Dude, Thank I used you. to get arrested for weed like once a year growing up, and now my band's got a strain of weed named after it. Yeah, time changed, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's so weird. Check being for out. success, right there, dude. Yeah, uh, yeah. I remember. I was just thinking about this this morning, when I was like growing up back in the Philippines. I was like really into the weed culture. Yeah. Yeah, I, w- I would have like weed shirts all the time and stuff, and it's just funny, to, like just kind of full circle that we. There's some metal bands that. Yeah, that are into I'm weed a weed too. enthusiast. What's that one metal band that has the, that weed? The, the uh, what's it, what are they called? Cannabis Corpse. 
Yeah, kind of a score. Yeah. Yeah. So good. Holy shit. You yeah. got uh, actually, John. You were talking about. Uh, you, you used the term Web three. Yeah. And then you started talking about vinyl and some like what like what what did you mean by that? So uh, we're coming out with a with a vinyl uh, in a couple of months with uh, this company called On Chain Records. Mm-hmm. So what they do is like uh, there's this thing called blockchain. They were talking about like how like your uh, your credit card when you just tap the chip. So it's like same kind of technology. So uh, so the vinyl that we're gonna have have that chip in it. So like you don't have to have a vinyl player to play the music. It'll just go straight to your phone, and it's an NFT file. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. So innovative shit. And then like. Now, and then, like, I was doing an interview with them a couple of days ago, and they were asking about Web3, and I had no idea what it is. And then, like, I pretended like I knew what it was, and then, then I got the context clues or whatever. Okay, that's what Web3 is. I was like, so now, now I think we're going to a new era. Well, what is Web3? Web3 is about, like, uh, web. the first one was just, like, taking information in. And Web2.0, I think, is about taking information and giving information. Okay. And this, uh, the Web3 is like owning things like uh, NFTs and all that stuff. All That's right. the next one. I mean, shit, I'm, I'll pretend to understand. I'm, too. I'm still kind of new to it, to well, the idea. We all, yeah. I'm, I'm, I, I can't really, like, really. I, I think I feel like only time will tell what that is actually. Mm. But, like, from what I've heard from those guys, it's going to be the next phase of, like, Internet. I wonder if that's something to look forward to. I think so. Think yeah. so? Yeah, I mean, everything, everything new is, is weird like, at first, yeah. right? Yeah, everything's sure. weird at first, and and then like they get better at like it. Anal sex. Yeah. Wait, weird. what? <laughs> uh oh. Oh. <laughs> I, yeah. I, I was curious because um, you had you mentioned N- NFTs. That's a very hard subject to understand. Yeah, it's, it's kind of goes. It is, man. It, it's it pretty goes, hard for us too. Yeah. Uh, I was like, but we obviously already had NFTs going on when yeah. we now for wow couple years now is this gonna be like a is it that gonna be evolving into yeah yeah i think so that's what you mean yeah. by the ownership part, yeah right? yeah the, you, now you get to own the information yeah that's like limited yeah yeah uh, no, it's still still i don't yeah. we'll see i don't know yeah it's hard to yeah think. it's still it's still kind of like a verifiable yeah. so you really have to ask that you have to ask on chain records or something oh <laughs> those, those type of guys like the, the school thing about being in the bay area though like you get to like kind of see like the the first wave of things because that's you know that's where the, like, startups the, the, the startups and all that. that yeah that is true especially being from where the van is from right now yeah 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 we we live, we, 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 we survived gentrification like, you know we, we we fucking got through that you know and but now like we're kind of cool with some of the tech people yeah. i mean it's still gross yeah. there it's, yeah. it's a yeah it's a city for sure it's weird yeah it's a weird city yeah when you're talking about deep into san francisco or deep into i mean la you yeah. know it's like it's a different uh it's a different place you yeah. know but yeah. b- but there is magic around it yeah you know which is you know i can't i can't help but not you know yeah the, the, you what know. i like about the bay area a lot is that um uh, entrepreneurship is like a big thing there yeah mm-hmm. and i feel like in in just in the metal world or like the punk world like that doesn't kind of exist you know like no one's starting their own businesses like that. Not there's there's no Nipsey hustle. Yeah, they just follow metal. the steps. There's, there's no yeah. You don't see like uh, Joyner Lucas on like yeah, people uh, just doing uh, the same yeah, program yeah, the whole time. Yeah, you know? I yeah. feel like, like not the, innovative thinking. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and like, and in a way, it's kind of frowned upon too. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. that's not traditional. Yeah, that's not. You know, you, you know, you got to do it this way. You uh, yeah. You don't ever listen. Dues. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Don't I mean, ever come listen on. To that. Yeah. I, I listen to it all. Like, I, you know. Oh, but, 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 but I hear you, but yeah, right. Yeah. You're right. You're not getting to me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, um, oh, what, what, I'm, I'm going to kill this. So, yeah, uh, well, what got us into, like, the whole independent thing is actually hip hop that got us into that. Really? Yeah. Tech Nine, dude. Strange music. Strange. Strange. We were listening to that, and then like we came across Macklemore, and Macklemore's an independent artist, and then he was like the first mainstream independent artist. Yeah. Whoa. And like it's crazy to think that like that album, The Heist, is ten years old, mm. and that like you listen to that fucking album, like talks about being an independent artist, and like uh, before he actually blew up, I was I was able to email them and they responded and like <laughs> asked for advice, like how do you do this, you know, and they're like just just keep it independent. You know, like try 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 to do everything yourself, 
and if not, you can always have rely on your community to do it. So that's pretty much our formula. Yeah. Be yeah, it sounds like you were saying uh, be independent and know when to have yeah. bring in help. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's so cool. Like uh, the the fans, like they love to interact with us, and we love to interact with them. Like it, it, it all all online. You know, it's like in Instagram. They they've told us where to come play you yeah. know they've saved us spots you know like like how just like you, you did where you're like you know you sent us a picture of where we're gonna pull up and mm -hmm. you know it's really cool we've met so many great people and uh it just we just continue to do it yeah just gotta keep going you gotta keep going how do you let yeah. I me mean, speaking of uh being innovative like like you'll announce a show like with only 24 hours in advance. Sometimes yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 most of the time yeah, yeah. that's great how, how do how, how do you even like start like to do that oh we we kind of at first we weren't announcing anything for like from we started in october to like, like 50 to like shows January. without telling yeah, anybody could, could, yeah. we'll just play jam we'll bush play. Ja it's called jam bush <laughs> 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 yeah we, we, we wouldn't announce it but we, that was a trial period you know hmm. that was and then like then we got more confident and then like people are demanding stuff and keep giving us tips and then like it was it's a whole interaction with like the fans it was really it's yeah, really right? cool man it's like a scavenger hunt the first couple of yeah. months, man, like, who are who are these guys, and where are they gonna show up? Have you ever seen that movie, um, Nick and Nora, Infinite Playlist? Nick and Nora, I have it. <laughs> yeah, 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 but check that out. But like, they're <laughs> the whole movie. They're following this band, the White Rabbit Band, or something. <clears throat> and, and, wow. and, and at the end of the movie, they actually find the band, and yeah, it it, it kind of have that vibe. Yeah. Oh, like oh, you guys played already? We're like, yeah, like damn it, we just got here. <laughs> yeah. Be like, yeah, yeah. Well, the cops started to shut us down. Yeah, it's super cool. Like, it's a different thing. Yeah, it, it's very different. You it's, have you have your own thing, and having your own thing is pretty badass. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah. So yeah, you'll be surprised. You'll be, I mean, you'll be surprised how many people don't do that in general. I mean, yeah. holy, holy shit, to be yeah. to, to to have your own thing, to be your to be your own thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's tough. Yeah, this you know? this hard. It's it's very scary, man. When we first quit our jobs, scary as shit that we ever fucking done in our lives. Really? Yeah, because we didn't have any backup, you know, and we just like all in. All, all in, you know, we just like fucking hustle, making shirts for other people, or like fucking try them. Luckily enough, like the music part started paying itself off. It's like we could go to work for eight hours, or we could get in the bus, drive down here in eight hours, and talk to you. Like, yeah. what <laughs> what do you choose to do? Yeah. You know, I'm calling yeah. out of work. I don't yeah. know about you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That is like the scary part, you know. Yeah. It's like I, all right, shit, I just I don't have my own. Like, I, your brain starts to freak out. You yeah, know? and no guidance too. That, that's what you thing gotta have us. your own road, yeah. dude. Yeah. You gotta have their own road. Yeah, we built our own thing, and like we just really like. Um, well, for me, speaking for me, I just got frustrated on trying to book shows and <coughs> other bands trying to borrow our gear, breaking them. Sound guy is not doing his job. He Shit. hates his life, you know. Like, uh, hates your life. Yeah, and then like <laughs> you, have, you have to promote, pass out flyers at shows, and like all the things that I didn't like about being in the band, I pretty much got rid of it. And it was just all about music and the people. That's all that matters. Now you took out any kind of like politics side of it. Yeah, I took all. I, I fucking because I was playing in the game for a while. You know, that's why I started working at the Warfield and Regency and like kind of learned the business side. Mm -hmm. yeah, the only obstacles really now are the yeah. are the 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 police. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Police yeah. and for you guys, it's yeah. uh, more playing to outside of. Um, a mobile gas station and there's a helicopter up there and yeah. uh, cops are telling us to stop. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty yeah. sick. Pretty yeah. sick. It was, yeah. That was a really good yeah. one. And, and uh, yeah, the, the, the biggest thing was the politics of it. The, I, I, did, I hated that because like, you know, like, uh, now, now the time is changing, you know, like I feel like at the time that we were starting our band, like being brown wasn't really a thing, you know, like because I'm Filipino, he's Cambodian. And like, I'm from New Jersey. And, yeah. And our drummer at the time is, is Guatemalan. You know, so we were had this like a weird, like diverse group, but like no one was really supporting us because we weren't really also trying to reach out to like the Filipino community or like the Hispanic community or like this. We kind of just like want to be ourselves, get rid of all that. But just but be about music. But like sometimes you gotta play those games to like get on like the big shows. You know, like in the Bay Area for sure. And like that's something that like I really didn't like. And so we, that's why we started Savage People, started throwing our own shows, started like booking anyone who we can or like who wants to work hard, you know? You guys take things into your own hands. That's yeah. impressive. Thank you. <laughs> to me, that's, uh, that, that's, that's very impressive to yeah. take things in your own hands. Yeah. I mean, some people will like hear, some people will hear no and be like, oh, it's no. Yeah. 
So no, you got to actually, you got to yeah. try to play to another show. You got to practice more. You got to, or you just kind of yeah, print, how, how do you print get more shirts. There? You just yeah. get, yeah. and you got the promoter say no again. And then like, you just keep, yeah. If, if, if you love it, you just got to keep going. Yeah. And I was just like, you know what? I'm not going to take no anymore. I'm going to start my own shit. <laughs> you know, that, that's, as hard yeah. as it is to do it yeah. all independently, it kind of, in a weird way, makes it easier. Yeah. You know? Yeah. We don't like, answer to anybody. A, a, that's, a, that's a cool thing. Gift and the curse. We only answer to, like, you know, people that we're talking to, like you, you know? Mm-hmm. like yeah. and, and, like, real conversations rather than, like, walking on eggshells, you know? And, uh, <coughs> like... Maybe the the my I call my my manager won't like this or like that. You know, we just mm-hmm. we manage our own thing and do our own thing, produce yeah. our own art. So I'm stoned. Yeah, that boy. <laughs> it's all good. I just good. woke up. Yeah. <laughs> I think I think the sponsor's working. Yeah, but it's cool that you don't. Uh, and it's great that uh, you didn't let that take away your passion, which yeah. it's it, it happens, dude. It's so yeah. it's so nuts. Yeah. And then you have to work to actually get back the passion. So you've actually, you already have a natural, like, okay, this, I'm not, we're going to let this affect yeah. this, you know? We still have so much fun. Yeah. Every time yeah. we play up there, dude, it's so much fun. Yeah. You just go so much fun. march forward every time. Like, if something bad happens, we figure out how to get through it and, like, do it. Till going. the wheels fall off. Yeah. And replace it. And, and then some. And <laughs> keep going. Yeah. yeah. Man, you guys are inspiring me. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, thanks, man. That's like, fucking badass. We're, uh, I'm, I'm glad that. I'm able to like be. To I want to go play. Platform. I want to go play right now. I can't wait. <laughs> I, I can't uh, wait to play. Uh, but yeah, but for real though, like, thank you for like giving us this platform because this is stuff that I want to talk about and like you know how we are as a band. You know. No, th- I mean, and thank you guys for talking. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I want people to be heard because I know to have your own life, you know, not not being heard. Yeah. So, you know, that's yeah. Because kind of kind of why kind of why we're we're here. Hell yeah. yeah. It's it's awesome, man. Hell like, yeah. Cheers. Cheers to that. Cool. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers to telling your story. Hell yeah. yeah. Cheers to Bud Light, Seltzer. And Stone. Stone's cool too. <laughs> you guys are fucking smart. Thank you, man. You know, it seems like it seems like you you have like things very well thought out. You know. Yeah. It's we weird. think about. It. It's a weed. <laughs> oh well, yeah. <laughs> I definitely wish I started smoking weed sooner. Yeah. I'm 36. I just yeah. started like fucking like six months ago. Yeah. yeah. Wow. It's cool. Yeah, recent. No, oh. my hey, yeah. It's never the, too late. Never too late. Yeah. It's never too late. I that yeah. you know like, uh, I'm, I'm one of those like paranoid even to smokers. start start smoking. Uh, never too late. Sometimes you have to like I feel like when you get to that level, you need to go a little deeper so you can like really like face your demons and like yes. come out of it. You're right. Yeah, because I I get the, I'm, I'm insecure when I'm super high. I get really insecure and and people call that paranoid, but I think it's insecurity coming at you. Nice. Yeah. Ain't security coming at you, and I, yeah. I 100% agree with you. Yeah, and then like you just fight that demon, man, and like get on top, and then you figure out, okay, this is how I'm gonna live my life. Like this is how I'm gonna solve problems. Because like when you get those paranoid moments, I think there those are the problems that deep inside your mind that you need to solve. Yeah. Well, John, I mean, yeah, right? I, I, John, I was just having this, these these thoughts on Monday, like it's uh, because you you always have demons. Yeah. You know, and it's weird, like, having, like, this conflict literally inside y- your skin. You have, like, the demons coming up, and it's dark side, but your mind, you could choose your mind being stronger or not. It's yeah. like, it's like, it's it's like this two, it's like, it's, in a way, like, it feels like you're separated, like, yeah. from your mind and, and, and your soul, but then your mind has to come in and stop, like, it's basically a demon. Yeah. I, I, I consider self-doubt a demon. Yeah. And or, like, your inner bitch. Yes, <laughs> inner bitch. Shout out to you, uh, Joe Rogan. He, yeah. I think he coined that yeah. fucking badass. Dude, yeah, it's like it is. Your, I mean, you said it the best way. I mean, it's it is insecurity, and like I mean, even I'm 36 now, I still, and you 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 think you're processing stuff, yeah. but but the we will bring out like yeah. this is some shit you gotta deal with. Yeah, you know. Yeah, and yeah, uh, it's, it's crazy like that, and that's why I'm a weed enthusiast. <laughs> it's it's a constant battle, huh? Like yeah. like it's always. Be, between your subconscious demons and and you. Yeah, yeah. It's so weird, like how it never goes away. Yeah, it never goes it's, away. It's all that. It's all yeah. you, though. That's yeah. ca- that's why it never goes away. Yeah. As long as there's you, there'll always be yeah. that. Yeah. You, know, just, you can't live life. It's inside your. Yeah. Inside your. Yin Yang, dude. <laughs> totally. Yeah. It's so weird. Yeah, people call it paranoid, but yeah, there's like. A, I like my demons. They, they just call it paranoid. <laughs> I shook hands with yeah. my dark side a long yeah. time ago. That's we're sick. F- we're friends. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we hang out all the time. Yeah, oh that's why you, see, you hear a lot of people say I get paranoid. I, I think that's I, I think that's why. I don't. I don't. They, they say that hmm. it's because I'm way too the confident. demon in there. Yeah, they need to conquer that shit. 
<laughs> demon or, or plural. Yeah, yeah, demons, yeah. Demonomania. Yeah. yeah. And then as you get uh, older, you know, and you get like, responsibilities, there's like, even I think even demons are born. Yeah. You know? It's like, oh, shit, I gotta deal, I gotta face this. Yeah, even like, uh, yeah, like, your laziness too that could be a different kind of demon you know you could be just like in the back of your head it's like oh maybe I should edit that video later nah. or like you know like maybe I should respond to this guy later and you never respond that is a demon huh <laughs> yeah yeah and it's like yeah they're robbing you from your opportunities of fucking with other people that could potentially can go somewhere damn <laughs> well that's that's what's up <laughs> holy yeah. shit call your parents <laughs> do you ever uh, uh, and then we'll and we'll uh, close close the uh uh, the uh, demon talk is that would you ever like smoke on purpose I'm like, hoping like okay I hope this goes there and so I could process whatever I need in the process uh, no I just smoke like regularly okay yeah the, you know kind of like that fucking sublime song you know wow to join <laughs> <in the morning. laughs> yeah yeah and it's just like a regular thing and then like really like having having not to worry about like answering to anybody now I have to answer to myself. So that means I have to talk to myself and think about all that shit all the time. Wow. Yeah. Damn, dude. Well, yeah, I I, uh, I definitely smoke weed to, to do that on purpose. Yeah. 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 It's not. It's definitely for me not a good time yet. Yeah. You know, I do it alone. Is what what's in there? The, yeah. Uh, I, I write I write in the journal. Yeah. Boom, 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 go up. Yeah, that's cool, man. Go go about your day. Smoking yeah. weed for me uh, centers me. You know, like, I feel like I, I have a lot of thoughts without it. And then, like, mm. when I smoke weed, it, it, like, eases me into being like, yo, this is cool. You know, I'm okay mm. with this. Yeah. Let's and you roll. appreciate music sometimes way more. Like, I yeah. love getting high and listening to a Slayer. Duh. Dude, that's probably heavy as fuck. I mean, yeah. that's like... It's just like, fuck. Uh, like, horror movie, man. Like, fucking driving around. Yeah, it's just Those like... are two of my favorite things yeah. in the world. Like, God Hates Us All. Duh. That's good. That, that album. That was a record for me. I was like, Exile. yeah. Man, Exile on that album is the best. Number seven. Uh, Bloodline is like my Exile, first Slayer bro. song I ever heard. Really? Bloodline? Yeah. Because like uh, that movie, uh, Dracula 2000. Yeah. It was, it, it was like... Was it in there? Yeah. No, that was, that that was, was the only music movie. Yeah. For that. Yeah. yeah. But I first heard of Slayer through Sum 41. Dude, did you... I, did <laughs> you uh, yeah, hear about the, like that's, the, that's awesome. Like that Spider-Man movie? Mm-hmm. They're, they they have a song for it like rock we're all about to live for so I shout it out yeah oh but, yeah yeah but Kerry King showed up and I was watching the the MTV making the music video when they used oh, to I do it oh I love those and they had Kerry <laughs> King all, all badass and yeah that's how this goes thank you for some for the one <laughs> see, see how like uh, like gate, uh, you have you have gateway bands yeah that, some for the one was a gateway band to dude they're they're, to they're, they're, they're hard dude yeah. 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 some for the one goes hard yeah they are oh yeah they're yeah, fucking yeah, heavy yeah. too man yeah yeah especially lately yeah yeah heavy could be all in any form yeah you know it could be slow like you know, everything's sleep. hardcore if you yeah. ask me yeah yeah at the base of it <laughs> well in my in my personal opinion I think it feels in like you guys do a lot of research of what's going on as far as like behind the music and what, what's going on. Like what, like you know, where, where do you see all this going? Where, where do you see mu music more specifically metal going? Uh, this well, was a pretty good year for metal. Yeah, I gotta be pretty, quite honest. I, I mean, we we saw so yeah. many shows. I yeah. mean, we were out there at yeah. all of the shows. I and, mean, and all the all the shows we were there. Bigger. Huge. All the metal festivals, festivals. So I mean, I gotta say, I feel like people are really, really into it. You yeah. know, especially in our perspective, yeah. the live show people are loving it. I mean, that's what uh, that's what yeah. it's all about for us yeah. is our live show. You yeah. know, we mm -hmm. that, that's we're just out there. That's how people know us, literally, because they're like, oh, I saw yeah. you here. Oh, I saw you here. I saw you here. Yeah. Because it's just it's it, people are out there. I'm gonna say that. Yeah, They're right. out there looking to have a good time. So if you want to put, if you want to play metal oh, shows, yeah. do it. <laughs> Now's the time. Yeah, that's, uh, but people the, are eating it up. When it comes to the business part, is that what you're asking? The, no, uh, just maybe. Just maybe. Yeah, it could yeah. be uh, yeah. musically. It could be uh, like uh, could be the internet aspect yeah. of it. Any anything that, that the shows would be good though. Yeah, shows are getting bigger. I think. You know, hmm. because we 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 play every after show. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> they're, they're getting bigger, selling out. Uh, in terms of business, like hopefully, like stuff like this would be more put out in the in you know becoming more independent kind of thing. You know, be yeah, more more people just get involved. Yeah, you know, everybody does it yeah. individually. It becomes a bigger thing. Yeah, like hopefully, like this interview can ch change somebody's perspective or something. I don't know. At least one. Yeah. Yeah. Or. Uh, yeah, but but for us, like for where we going, we gonna just do our thing and then like. Uh, if a company wants to work with us, 
partnership. Who knows? You know, we're not we're not gonna sign our full rights to you. We just we we know what we can do and you, we know what you can do. Well, yeah, nowadays and you can just let's you know, shake hands and partnership like you, and like change you said, the world. The, the, <laughs> you know, the W three or whatever you want yeah. to call it. Yeah, all Web about three. ownership, yeah. right? You're saying. Yeah. So yeah. who knows if rights are changing, like and, anything like that. And then I feel like uh, a lot of more minorities are coming in. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be like a, a hopefully like a wider uh, spectrum of diversity. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Of, of all, I mean, of all it, sorts. We've yeah. seen a lot of a lot of diverse crowds. Yeah. Lately. Mm-hmm. I mean, all 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 over yeah. across the board, all ages too. Yeah. But sometimes we we're very like, young people are like pe- people are bringing their kids <laughs> to shows now. That's you know, so like sick. and they're they're becoming fans of us too. Like yeah. the really really young kids. I mean, like yeah. how that kid was probably eleven or twelve. Yeah. So the other day, and he was excited for us to cool. come here. He told me he's like, oh, I'm so excited for you guys to be on the Suicide Silence podcast, and I was like. What little kid, you're awesome! Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah, that was uh, just the uh, when was that after the uh, the last show, the uh, aftershock festival. Yeah, aftershock festival. Yeah. That was fun too. There's gonna be more festivals though, I think. The aftershock festival is a good yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. Seems mean, like the f- I feel like there's gonna be more rock and metal festivals coming. Yeah, like uh, like yeah. Uh, like around around the country. Yeah, around the country. Yeah, around the world. Yeah, because like uh, it it was more. I feel like it was more this year than last year. Yeah, it seems like there was, there's always more. Popping up, which uh, you know, I think it's still kind of getting back to the way things were before the yeah. pandemic. Honestly, you know, it's we, we still know how, taking like, a while for like people to a tour come back around to have money. Festival, and, uh-huh. but I think it's just gonna be individual one offs. Yeah, uh-huh. but I think I have a conspiracy. I don't know if, it, if I'm, I'm right about this, but all the graphics of all those festivals are the same. So I'm pretty sure it's the same person that's running them. That's a very intelligent observation. I mean, like, like you were saying earlier, you pay attention to that. You pay attention to that. You play that. Sh- you play you know, those it festivals. depends which ones. Yeah. For somebody yeah. who like you know studies that stuff, I mean, you you have yeah. an eye for it. So yeah, You're like yeah. Oh, that's it's the same, same font. That's the same guy. It's same font. Like that's your uh, style, can, boy. Like this this festival in Aftershock has a very similar font. Hmm. Wow. Well, was it like loud louder louder than life? The fact that you see that is awesome. Yeah, and it is. It is right, yeah, yeah. Uh, and also like I, I saw, I saw like uh, before the pandemic, Metallica was gonna play all these festivals. Yes, and they did like a press conference. It's like just one guy, and mm. he was <laughs> they were contracted to play all these festivals. Oh wow! Yeah, they did like a live video on their Facebook page or something. Just one dude. Yeah. Yeah, whoever that guy is, hey, hit us up, dude. We want to play those festivals. <laughs> Easy. Like, because <laughs> we're gonna play them anyway. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we gotta yeah. figure out a way to get on those no, festivals. No, we're, yeah. we're already yeah. outside. One, so. or, one or the other. <laughs> yeah. We'll see you there. Yeah. <laughs> then we, we yeah. we're probably gonna use like our business to like get in there or something. Well, <laughs> we are already outside, ready, ready to play yeah. at two p.m. and we're on, we're, eleven p.m. Yeah. Yeah. We'll be there. Yeah, we're probably like if buy you're a booth. There, we're there. <laughs> those festivals and like convert our booth into a stage. I don't know. Who knows? We are we are a stage. Yeah, <laughs> our live. I mean, all of our lives are a stage, right? Yeah. You know, yeah. that was cheesy. Yeah, that you know was, I'm, I won't click I the mean, podcast. Why not? <laughs> that was pretty good. Yes, <laughs> what was Say it? it again. Like I, I, an old worker told me, it's like life is not a dress rehearsal, so you better get on with it. There we go. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty high note. <laughs> yeah, he was a gay guy. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I was going to ask you where uh, where do you see the band going, but it seems like you kind of said your future already. We're, we're going to try to yeah. get get hemorrhage on some some of these Danny Danny Wimmer festivals. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Aftershock. Just keep playing. Byron Life, life, keep playing. Yeah, just keep playing, and then fucking just keep going. Everyone's telling us to keep going lately. Yep. So we just gonna keep going. Yeah. Uh, Writing, we got a bunch yeah. of new songs, and we'll, we'll fuck with anybody who wants to new fuck videos. with us. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. And, yeah, the, that's the cool thing about knowing how to run a business and being an entrepreneur is like, you kind of have the shot to call. Like what you, do you, you want to do? Call what you want to do? You know, like whatever like, you whatever we, we want. Yeah, like the vinyl thing. Like we were thinking about coming out with vinyl. A company hit us up, and then it's like perfect. NFTs, yeah, with an NFTs. So that's we'll see. What, we'll see what yeah. that is. Yeah. See where it goes first. Yeah. Get, we gotta understand it, right? Yeah, we gotta understand it. I haven't will. fully understand it. You but will, like, I, you guys, I mean, as you as a team, I think, I think, yeah, you will. just like how we do things, we will figure that along the way. You know, like there's a lot of things that we do that are questionable <laughs> in the beginning, like pulling the bus and stuff like that. But like, I can't see things as like we're making this masterpiece that no one understands it yet, but now they're starting to understand because they see a little bit of like the artwork. Mm-hmm. Where it's going in the chaos. Like I think uh, we we built the foundation and like did the did the concept the last ten years, and now we're starting to paint on it on this canvas that we call life. And uh, 
now I feel like people are starting to see a little bit of it. Like only like an eighth of what we want to do as people. Yes. I agree, you know, yeah. and I, I think you already have a grasp of that, you know. I saw you live and I saw you on the internet. Those two things are to combine are pretty lethal and it ha- ha- happened to me. So it looks yeah. like you guys are already keeping going. So, yeah. Well, John, Toby, Ron, it was honored to have you guys. Thank, Thank you, you for Thank making you the drive down here, fucking playing outside a whole song. Yeah. Like, almost, <laughs> yeah. You, you guys almost killed me. <laughs> yeah. I'll do it again. It was, it was almost a fucking... Yeah. Disaster, almost died. Okay, yeah. but uh, thank, thank you for the shirt. Uh, where can people find you? Uh, hemorrhage.net is where we want people to go, really. But like, you can find us on Instagram at hemorrhage SF, you know, and then Facebook, hemorrhage. You know. But mainly, I want to emphasize that our own website because we own that shit. H E M O R A G E. Dot net. And uh, yeah, because like, I feel like ownership is, like a, is our next step. It's just we want, just want to own all our shit. Yes. Yeah, so yeah. we can do whatever we want. We can license it, you know, we can put it in movies, we can put yeah. it on anything. Yeah, give it away. Yeah, Great. give it away for free if you want. You're if right. If you feel like it. <laughs> yeah. Our music, all of our music's free. We, yeah. we play it every show, yeah. every hemorrhage show is free. But I Free do wanna, tickets, free admission to yeah. every hemorrhage show. I, I don't want to say Just like... Just be uh, outside, we'll be outside. <laughs> try to get our know? music directly from us because yeah. that's like the best quality you can get. But we're going to sell it for a hundred yeah. bucks. Maybe. I don't know about that yet. <laughs> we'll see. We'll no, you, you already got to own it. <laughs> Free own shows. it and then partner when you can and yeah. know when to bring someone from a team in. Yeah. And yeah. then you got, you got, you guys are already doing it. You're yeah. Sick. Word up. Yeah. Pretty much. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank okay. you, man. I appreciate it. Hammeridge, everyone. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Later. Yeah. yeah.